What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Talking Head. Today we're going over the brand new Zhuin Smooth 5. Zhuin was kind enough to send us out their brand new Smooth 5, also their brand new M3, which is an APCS size camera gimbal. If you haven't watched the unboxing of that, link is right up here in the notes. But Zhuin hasn't released a phone gimbal since I think April of 2018. So this is quite a surprise. So before we get to that portion of the video, I wanted to show you the box that this came in. Uh, Zhuin sent us the combo pack. This is everything that comes with it. I am not sure what different packages they're gonna be selling. Uh, again, it hasn't come out yet. It comes out today when you're watching this video. So just head over to their website because I'm sure that they have different options of buying. Again, I don't know what the price is, so you're gonna have to click the link below to check that out as well. But just to show you with the combo pack, it comes with this nice case. Again, it's not as nice as the case that came with the M3, but it is still a really nice case. So basically you have, again, the two straps in here to hold down the gimbal when not in use. And you have a bunch of various pockets here that can hold SDs, they can hold anything, honestly. They, these little wee lights right here, so that's pretty handy. So without further ado, let's get over to the part where we actually use this bad boy. Just to get this out of the way, Zhuin has not paid us to do a review on either of these gimbals. They merely just sent them out to us in order for us to shoot two short films on, which we're shooting later this week. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a video. So the only thing we can compare this to right now is the Zhuin Q, which Kayla's using now, because it's the only other phone gimbal that we've used. But so far, this is far superior to that. All right, we're doing under slug mode right now with Abby. Can't really see what I'm shooting, but... Nope, nope, come on. <laughs> Always. So I'm gonna do a tracking under slung shot with Abby if she continues to walk. Okay. Come on. All right, so I realize that I have to get much lower when I'm doing that shot, but it looks pretty smooth. I'm, I'm pretty uh, impressed with how this is working right now. So we're gonna hit the button three times and it's gonna go into selfie mode and I'm gonna use the light. Even though it's light out right now, I'm kind of curious of what it looks like. So three clicks and now we're in selfie mode. Oh, actually, oh yeah, we're filming, okay. And then we hold this light and there it is. Very cool. Oh, someone on the bike. All right, so right now we are walking through our little town of Milford. Curious to see how well this handle is bouncing when we're walking, but because it's not a four axis gimbal, but the phone has internal stabilization, so that should help with it. So with the combination of the gimbal and the phone, this should be a super smooth shot. Let's go back into POV mode. Triple click it again, and we're back. So there are different modes. Uh, there's PF, there's L, F, POV, and V, which is the, oh, what the hell is this called? All right, so now we're gonna try the infamous 360 roll on a phone gimbal, which I've never done, so let's test that out. Release it. Release sound. Abby, come on. Oh, keep going, keep, oh, come on. Come on, Abby. All right. So far, so good. I'm really loving this, especially compared to the Q. I know that this, the uh, Smooth 4 came out uh, quite a bit ago. We haven't used that, but I'm assuming it's better than the Q. Uh, so that's all we have to compare to. But so far, this... The, what? Look at the side of the... Gimbal? Yeah. Oh. All right, you know what? I'm going to try the 360 roll once this car leaves. <laughs> or leaves. I'm going to try the 360 roll again once this car passes us. Uh, down the street just to see how it looks. Oh. 
So we go into V mode. And with the touch of the joystick, you get 360 degrees. I'm sure if you go in the app, you can change the settings and the speed of how you do it. All right, we got one full 360. Oh, oh, oh. Had a little bit of a meltdown right there. So far, my favorite mode right now is POV. It seems like I have the most control over the gimbal that way. And if you, uh, just like any other gimbal, if you get misaligned, you can just double tap the trigger and it goes right back to pointing sh uh, perfectly straight. Center button controls the light. Um, all of these around here, plus the menu system uh, and the record button leads me to believe that there's gonna be software that goes with this where you can control the phone through the gimbal. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work because right here, there's a USB-C input. Um, but where the, it would go into the phone, it's kind of too close to this axis right here. So I'm not sure how they're gonna do that, but I'm sure there is a way. Um, Juin sent us this gimbal to shoot a short film with, which we are going to be doing soon. They didn't really give us any uh, specifics about the gimbal, how much it's gonna cost or um, what the new features are. So this is kind of just the first look of how it's gonna be. Uh, also, building on that, there's also a zoom and focus wheel right now. So I'm assuming that only works with the iPhone 13 because it has a cinematic mode where you can adjust the focus on it. Again, I'm not sure how you're gonna, it might be Bluetooth, honestly. I'm not seeing a Bluetooth pairing though. So I'm not too sure about that. I'm sure that information will be on Juin's website, which is linked down below, along with the Smooth 5, which has been released today. All right, so in L mode, you could double click the trigger and it'll go straight again. It seems like every other mode's not doing that. So let's, uh, let's see. So there's only so many, uh, there's only so much cinematic footage we can get without having a real plan for it. Uh, so we're gonna use this thing as it is more than likely intended for, which is vlogging. Vlogging. So let's go walk around town and see how this guy uh, holds up.
So right now we have it in telephoto mode. So obviously in telephoto mode, uh, you could see the bounce a little bit more. That's where, that goes with any camera on any gimbal. Uh, this is so embarrassing. We're not used to vlogging in, in, in public. You just gotta do it. Yeah. So with the telephoto lens, the, the shot we just got with that band, you could tell uh, a little bit more the bounces and the movements, um, but that goes for any gimbal, any camera. As long as you have a telephoto lens on there, you're gonna see more of it. Gimbals always work better when you have a wide lens. Ooh, this is pretty. Yeah, you wanna get a shot of Abby and I walking? Yeah. It is looking really smooth right now. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed. It's really intuitive with the movements. It knows exactly where I want the camera to go, which is always nice to have. After using this for a while, I'm getting used to it more and more, and I'm looking forward to shooting a short film on this. That's exciting. Uh, that'll be coming out soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. By the way, babe, this place is for sale, and this would be a perfect headquarters for pop films. Oh, this, this building, one? yep, this one's for sale. And these two big guys are too. Just saying. Please subscribe so we can afford a new location for our studio. Okay. Oh, they're looking at it too. It's not for sale. <laughs> we do more weddings, we can buy a farm. <laughs> and we can get goats and chickens. And then we could rent out the farm as a venue. Look at, look at that. This is In smart. I can see your bounce in your steps. Okay. So I'm thinking that this is doing really well with handling bumps. I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that that's due to the internal stabilization of the phone. But the two, uh, the two working together is deadly. So now we're really gonna put this thing to the test, jerk it around, see how well it uh, handles it. Where are we going? I don't know. Wow, it's very fluid. So PF, so uh, PF mode allows you to make any movement you want. Your camera will always point straight. So that's a good, uh, it's a good, so that's a good mode to have it in if you are doing a lot of movement and your subject is staying in the same spot. The L mode keeps your camera locked on a certain direction. So depending on if you turn left or right, it'll always stay locked on that position. So if you're doing, let's say, a tracking shot from the side and you have to maneuver around something, that's probably the best option to do. There's a bunch of people watching us right now inside of Jive and I'm a little embarrassed. So after using this for a few hours, I can honestly say I love this gimbal. It's very intuitive. It's very easy to use. Uh, like I said, it didn't come in a manual, so I, I'm learning everything as you are. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised. The light's still working. The gimbal still has pretty good uh, battery life. So right now it's getting kind of cold. <laughs> so we are going to head home. And one of the most beautiful things about this gimbal is it's so damn light and it locks on every axis so you could just lock it up and walk around with it like it's nothing which is what i'm gonna do now all right 
See you back in the basement. Like I said, guys, this is strictly just a first impressions video. We haven't had this guy for too long. We've only had it for about two days. So we're gonna spend the week playing with it and figuring it out and we'll come back to you with an in-depth review. Juin sent us these to shoot two short films with, one with the Smooth 5 and one with the Crane M3. And they're probably gonna come out either later next week or the week following. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode, you never miss a short film that we post. And if that's something that you might be interested in, you can check out all of our short films right here in this playlist. Again, thank you for watching another episode of Talking Head, and until next time, we will see you. I'm like Yoda. <laughs>